Now, the Russian Navy has tested its might off the coast of Syria in an exercise to establish control over the Mediterranean Sea, including utilising some of the military's most cutting-edge developments, as RT's Anna Konyshenka now reports from Syria. Large-scale Russian Navy drills are held these days in the Mediterranean. Fifteen military ships with up-to-date weaponry and equipment are taking part in the maneuvers, including famous air carrier killers. They are all accompanied by the aviation. For our exercises in the eastern Mediterranean with the ships, naval aviation equipment was sent to the Kamemim Air Base. Searching for foreign submarines with anti-submarine aircraft as cover is the main training exercise. To achieve this, we relocated the Baltic Fleet's SU-30SM multifunctional fighter jet to the airbase. Since it is a multifunctional aircraft, it's operational as both an air fighter and as a bomber. In combat training, flying over water is the most difficult exercise, but our pilots are at a level where they can perform any task. These Russian maneuvers are conducted at the same time several NATO aircraft carriers are operating in the Mediterranean, including Harry Truman of the US Navy and Charles de Gaulle of France. The Mediterranean Sea is an important region where Russia, through large-scale naval exercises, proves it's able to ensure military security thanks to increased naval power. The level is truly unprecedented. This is a large-scale demonstration of military power that shows Russia can ensure its security in any situation. It's important given that NATO naval forces have increased activity in the Mediterranean Sea. The alliance plans exercises there before heading to the Black Sea. Russia, being armed with the latest carriers of sea-based cruise missiles, will help deter possible provocative actions by NATO ships and submarines. Mediterranean is considered to be an important region for Russia. This importance is proven by the visit of the Russian defense minister Sergei Shoigu to Syria to attend the drills. Other Russian politicians and military officials have also pointed out the strategic importance of the Mediterranean for Russia. In total, more than 140 warships and support vessels, more than 60 aircraft, 1,000 units of military equipment and about 10,000 of military personnel are involved in a series of ongoing naval exercises. These drills are part of wider drills involving Russia's armed forces, whose scale is unprecedented. The Navy is not just wargaming in the Mediterranean, but in seas surrounding the Russian Federation, as well as locations further afield around the world. As for the Russian drills in the Black Sea, their main purpose is to make sure the Crimean Peninsula stays safe. Among the scenarios being war games is a possible assault by enemy forces. So the fleets in the Black and Mediterranean seas are fine-tuning their response to different possible threats, all in a coordinated bid to optimize Russia's overall strategic security.